What's up everybody, Patrick here, and moving on to another continuity question. We have to determine the values of x for which the function f of x equals the square root of 3x minus 6 all over x minus 5 is continuous. So whenever they're asking for the x values for which a function is continuous, they're pretty much just asking for the domain of the function. So what's the domain of this function going to be? And this one's pretty tricky. Notice that there's a square root inside of the function. So we know that the expression inside the square root has to be greater than or equal to zero. We can't have a negative in the square root. The function is going to be undefined then. So we know 3x minus 6 has to be greater than or equal to zero. So be zero because the square root of zero is just zero. So 3x minus 6 greater than or equal to zero, when's that going to happen? Well, that's going to happen when 3x is greater than or equal to 6. Then if we divide both sides by 3, it's going to happen when x is greater than or equal to 2. So that's part of it. However, notice there's also this denominator to work with. So we can't have the denominator equaling 0. x minus 5 can never equal 0 because then the function will be undefined as well. So there's two ways that this function here can be undefined. Either if this expression is negative or if this expression in the denominator is equal to 0. So x minus 5 cannot equal 0, meaning that x cannot equal 5. Hence, the function is continuous for both of these conditions combined. So basically the domain of this function is xer. As long as x is greater than or equal to 2, and x does not equal 5. And then for all other x values, we're all good. The function is going to be continuous. So it has to be greater than or equal to 2, and it can't equal 5.